I'll start with day one, which is that Tuesday on September 11th. I was 12 years old. I was in seventh grade. And the first thing I remember was first period because my buddy Jeff, who was, you know, religiously not on time for school, happened to come to first period late, which was after the first tower hit. So it had to be sometime, I don't know, a little after nine o'clock. He comes up to me as soon as he walks in and goes, Dave, doesn't doesn't your dad work at, in the towers? I'm like, yeah, why? He goes, well, I think a, a plane it flew into the towers and I, let alone at 12 years old. I was like, what, what, are, what, are, what are you saying? What, that, what does that even mean? And I don't think anyone knew what the hell was going on most of that day. But at some point, I remember going down to the main office and I wanted to call my mom and call the family and see what the hell was going on. Because I remember kids getting called out of school and we lived in a town in Jersey that was a, a heavy commuter town. So, you know, everyone worked in the city and they wouldn't let me make the phone call, which I thought was weird. Even to this day, I mean, I, I guess I knew what they were doing, but at the time it was I had to go through the entire day not knowing what was going on. And my mom made the choice to not pull me out of school, which I, even as a man today, I think was the right choice. Was she going to pull me into the chaos that was going on, the uncertainty? So I had to go through the whole day not knowing what was going on and wondering, is this real? What the hell's happening? Is my dad okay? What's my family doing? I remember even getting made fun of. <laughs> I'm not going to drop any names because he's a good dude, but at the time he was kind of making fun of me that I was looking worried before uh, confirming that, you know, my dad died, so fuck you. But other than that, um, went through the school day wondering what the hell was going on, and then it was time to go home. It was time to walk home. So I guess this is what, 2.30, 3 o'clock. And what makes that so weird to me now thinking about it is that that was in the middle of the afternoon at that point, which means the towers went down. At this point, I didn't know, obviously, but thinking back, reflecting on it, I was walking home not knowing what happened, and at that point, it was already done. You know, Tower was already down. My dad was already gone, but I didn't know it at that time. So reflecting on it just, I don't know, just weirds me out. But anyway, my best friend of now 30 years or so <laughs> got suspended from the school bus before the school year started. So to tell you what kind of troublemaker he was, he was suspended from the school bus before the school year started. So which ended up being a blessing because he was right by my side and I couldn't have had anyone else better than him to walk by my side that day. And I don't remember what was said. There's a lot I don't remember, so I'm going to preface the rest of the story with that. But I remember walking home, and I made that one bend around the around the block, and that was the first time I could see my house. And that's when I saw cars outside. There was just the entire cul-de-sac was filled with cars surrounding my house, and that was the moment that confirmed that shit went down, and I was about to walk into something that you know would change me forever. And so I remember walking to the house, I guess James got pulled aside and all my family, my cousins, everyone was there. And all I remember was just walking to my living room and I see my cousins there. And I think it was my mom or someone was trying to pull me away from the TV, but I I wanted to look at the TV to see what happened. And that was the first time I saw the replay. Like I said, it was a replay because all this went down already of the towers going down. And all I remember is bursting into tears. I just... I was aware, I mean, I was only 12, but it was pretty clear what the hell just happened. And that's when I lost it for the first time. 